The meniscus are two cushions that can be seen as an orange color that act as shock absorbers in the knee. They sit as semicircular structures, one on the inside and one on the outside of the knee. When tears occur on the outside or the yellow zone, they are amenable to repair. The lateral meniscus can be seen trapped between the femur and the tibia. An LP needle is used to make the portal. It's then made and dilated using an artery forceps. The meniscus reduced using a probe. The sleeve is then introduced and the fast fix anchor passed through it. The sentinel suture that anchors the meniscus, also known as the first suture, is passed through the posterior horn. The needle is advanced with gentle rotatory movements till the white part abuts against the meniscus. Be gentle and do not press this any further as this might disrupt your fixation. The anchor is then released and the needle gently withdrawn by slow rotatory movements. Be very gentle during this step as the anchor can just come out. Be careful and make sure that the tip of the needle does not go out of sight. So one has to be very gentle when pulling it out of the meniscus. Keeping the tip in sight, plan where you're going to place the next anchor. Approximately 5 millimeters away, the needle is again introduced with gentle rotatory movements in the same way as it was introduced previously. The anchor is then released again and the device gently pulled out. Traction is applied to the suture till it fixes the meniscus back in place. A cutter is then introduced to cut the suture short. This is a vertical mattress suture. The first two are placed in a similar fashion. The next anchor is then applied more towards the body as this tear extended from the mid portion of the body of the meniscus to the posterior horn near the root. The device is introduced in the same way and a vertical mattress suture again applied. We can now see that the meniscus looks rather stable, but we can't rely on only two anchors. A part of the posterior body is still rather unstable and needs to be fixed. We now apply our anchor to the posterior horn closer to the root which is in a horizontal configuration.
the final meniscal stability is checked with a probe in an anteroposterior direction at the posterior horn as well as the body.